G'day everyone, Rod Trezice in Canberra, Australia. Today we're going to make the quick and easy farm tractor with animals. Now I downloaded this plan from uh, toymakingplans.com. We've got some uh, Australian camphor laurel, which is the lighter timber, um, and uh, Western Australian jarrah, which is the darker timber. We've got our wheels and axles and steering wheels, some dowel to do the uh, fence posts, and also some barbecue skewers, which I'll show you a little bit later on what I intend to do with those. packing tape on the uh, timber and what this does is two things it uh, helps to lubricate the blade and um, as you're cutting it and also it um, helps in uh, removing the uh, label after cutting um, rather than just the paper sticking to the timber which is very difficult to get off in place somewhere about there rub it all down so we'll scroll saw the uh, the first part out off in one, oh well, two pieces because it was two pieces of tape. There we go. So we're going to drill a hole for the tow hitch in uh, the main body part of this uh, of this little tractor. Um, I always like to drill these holes before cutting out the uh, the pattern. The um, the jig is simply a right angle. Um, piece with some grip tape on it to help grip it. Um, very simple to make. And take the piece off, simply clamps there, and um, there we go. Nice, even, centered hole.
but just a couple of quick notes on my drill press and uh, and what drill bits I use, etc. Um, I have uh, I use Brad Point bits. I've got an Imperial set and a metric set. I've also just recently bought myself this set of um, hole saws, um, Forstner bits. They're called wave cutters. Now it's very hard to probably see on here, but the uh, generally Forstner bits come with either a, a very straight edge or toothed uh, teeth uh, for end grain cutting. These ones have a, a wave arrangement on the edge, very sharp um, and uh, very nice to use. Um, particularly cutting very clean holes where um, the exceptional side of those things is the uh, is the exit uh, which is very clean near perfect very hard to see on the on the video um, also on the drill press uh, it came with a uh, keyless chuck this is really handy um, saves you looking for the key all the time to uh, change drill bit and also a light in the back of the the, uh, the drill press very handy, um, some of those little extras that make life a bit easier along the way. Time for some glue up. Now I haven't done it this way before, so this is a little bit of an experiment going to glue on the side piece. Uh, now I'm using both tight bond and super glue. The super glue, um, so that when the piece goes on, it uh, sticks very quickly and doesn't slide around when you do the clamp up. It's always a problem clamping up um, afterwards. So I put a bit of super glue on there and uh, I put some pencil marks on the piece. You only get one shot at this so we'll, um, we'll give it a crack. A bit of pressure. Hold it for a few seconds. There we go. That's uh, it's not sliding now. We can clamp it so that the tight bond does the does its trick with being a uh, very solid glue. A couple of clamps on. Um, there we have it. Leave it for 30 minutes. Now my dad is going to glue a piece of wood with a hole in it so he can get the wheels on. So now he's going to put a peg thing through the wood <laughs> with a wheel and turn it and put a piece of cardboard in to keep it nice and still. And then he's going to repeat that again. So he's going to put the glue in. Like so. And then he's going to take it off the top. And wipe his hands off. <coughs> and then he's going to put the little screwdriver in. Put it in. And then put the cardboard piece in. And that is the front wheel done. Pretty simple, if you're good like my dad. So now we're going to get little screws. And Dad's going to drill a hole in like this. When he finds that spot. And then he'll blow it off and then he'll get some glue from his container and put it in like that and then hammer it down. And then he's going to do the same on the other side. Screw the hole like that. And then blow it off and get glue and put it in and then you'll hammer it in and then he's going to take the cardboard out 
and then it turns. Now it's going to wipe off the glue, like so. Are you going to cut it off the top part there? Mm. So what's this saw called? Uh, just a um, very flat saw okay. that will just be able to cut it off. Cool. And then it looks pretty good for the front wings. And now he's going to sand it down like that. Makes it nice and soft as well. So, there we go. cool. All done. Can I see? Now my dad is going to, well, he's done the main part, glued the main part. Now he's going to put the steering wheel in here so it's going to drill the part like so oh, he's just drilled it and now he's going to glue the little thing in just with the normal glue Just checking if it fits. Now you should always check that the drill part fits in the, in it, but don't drill it straight away in. Just drill it in a normal piece of wood and then put it in and see if it actually fits, first of all, because otherwise you'd have a big problem with that. So now he's done that. And then you let it set. So as you can see, it turns. Pretty cool. So he's done that. Cool. Okay, so we've reached a point where we need to now glue the, uh, the, the roof onto the tractor. Now a little bit tricky because uh, we're gluing onto end grain and just butt gluing, uh, butt joints. Uh, and I'll show you what I do to uh, to make the joint a little bit stronger. I like to uh, super glue this, and then um, and then put some dowels in the top. Again, one shot at this with the super glue in the center as much as we can. There we go. Give it a couple of seconds. And we'll just give that a little bit, a little bit of time to uh, to dry. Okay, there we go. The roof's all super glued on. Now what I like to do is um, with the little bamboo skewers, barbecue skewers. I like to. Um, drill a hole and insert these in each of the four corners. There we go, four holes drilled. Bit of glue on the end. Now yeah, I'm going to let that dry and um, then we'll come back and cut the uh, the skewers off and uh, sand it flat and um, that'll assist in the uh, in the joint. Okay so now time to cut the uh, dowels off or the, the skewers off and just cut these with the flat saw. Okay. And sand them off. There we 
we go. All nice and flat, and now that uh, roof piece is uh, is a lot more secure. Okay, time to glue on the front wheels. Uh, this goes in the slot. Uh, we just um, use a bit of glue in here, and then press the axle down into the slot. Try and get it centered. There we go. Push it in. There we have it. Let that dry, and we'll come back to putting the uh, the rear wheels on. So before we put the rear wheels on, I thought what we'd do is um, finish off the rest of the tractor first with the uh, with the orange oil, uh, just so that I can. Uh, Get the oil in around here makes it a little bit easier and we'll come back and put the wheels on now this is the oil that i've been using uh, it's an orange oil um, it says uh, ideal for all wooden furniture toys and chopping boards so it's a food grade um, oil um, very nice goes on very easily i just use a small paintbrush and then uh, and then wipe it off um, etc et so we'll do all of this and um, come back and put the rear wheels on. Okay, so we've finished oiling the tractor and uh, we've also oiled the wheels, not the axles, because I want the glue to stick. Um, so now we can put the, uh, the, the wheels on the back. Please. The glue in the hole. And we're also going to drill two little holes in the back and uh, put our little um, dowels in again as well. There we go. We'll let that sit and dry, and then I'll come back and uh, cut the little dowels off. Okay, not particularly easy to cut these ones off as the um, the base of the tractor is uh, is sticking up higher. So I've sort of got myself into a little bit of a jam here, but uh, that's all right. We'll cut them off. There we go. And a um, little bit of sandpaper just to. Uh, Smooth them off a little bit. I'll just dab a little bit more oil on there just to finish it off. Wipe it off. Tractors all finished. Ready to go. When I was gluing up the uh, the final parts of the tractor and gluing the, the rear wheels in, I uh, forgot to um, attach the guards first. So uh, no matter, we've uh, we've come back and uh, and attached them now. Um, one thing I did do, I, I the, in the plans, there's a little spacer in between the guard and the body. Now. I, it, probably a bit hard to see on the video but um, I omitted this uh, simply because I wanted two glue points the guard glues on to two areas so um, I don't think it detracts from the, the overall look um, and just makes those guards a little bit more secure so now the tractor is all uh, is all finished ready to go while I was waiting for parts of the tractor to be uh, for the glue to dry in certain areas and, and 
I managed to cut out all the characters. Um, there's two different timbers here. There's the uh, camp for laurel um, and also this uh, pink timber, which is uh, Tasmanian myrtle. Uh, both very nice timbers to work with. Um, the little characters come off the, uh, the horses, etc. Um, now, we didn't finish the uh, trailer or the fence posts this weekend. I did manage to cut the, uh, the template out for the fence um, fence pieces, and uh, but we didn't get to uh, get around to doing those this weekend. Uh, maybe next weekend. But overall, that was a, a weekend's great weekend's project. Uh, I hope you've all enjoyed uh, watching the progress and uh, the completed toy. Um, that's all for now. Thank you.